show. Once again, I'm Steve Clayton, joined by Brandon Powell, the head man here at EPC. Coach Powell, this is a huge game tonight, and we'll talk about that a little bit more after the break. But right now, I just want you, want you to walk us through the 23 football season for the Warriors. I know it seems like an eternity since the first day of practice, but kind of give us a synopsis of that so far. Yeah, it's been a great run for us so far this year, you know. We started off 1-1 one one in our non-conference with a big win over Manila, then a tough loss to Warner Ridge, but I think that loss really helped us grow and mature. And they're a pretty good football team. They're, they're a real good football team, big physical football team, but you know it kind of gave us the identity that we could be physical too, and we took that and ran with it. We got OCO at home the next week, and uh, we did a good job of stopping the run, and we scored some points on them and got a big non-conference win there going into conference play. And once conference started, you know, we was really confident going into that, and defense played really well. You know, we got a good defensive game against Clarendon, turned around and played McCroy, had another good defensive game, scored a lot of points, limited points. You know, starting out 2-0 and in conference, and really excited about that, going through that, you know, a big win at Cross County. You know, that we was hopped up for that game, and uh, we thought that was a great matchup, and played really well, and shut them out in the first half, and really got our conference going. Then, you know, it kind of had a couple other games and got Des Ark at home the other day. And, you know, that's a huge conference championship type game for us and them. And it was a physical game and our defense played well and, and kind of got us to this point where we're in a situation where we can win a conference championship. Now we'll talk to one of your big offensive linemen and Dennis Gaines at halftime. One thing you've had to deal with this year is Dennis Gaines being a little bit hobbled with a hamstring. Kind of walk us through that. You know, he tweaked his hamstring in our scrimmage game in week zero. and kind of battled through that early. We tried to play him through it, but we played the first two weeks and realized we was just give him a rest week and set him out during the OCLA game. So winning that OCLA game without Dennis was a confidence booster for our team. And he slowly started getting better and better. And, you know, we got him up to 100% now. And he's healthy, ready to go, try to make a playoff run. Now, at 100%, he's obviously your go-to back. But you have a lot of other weapons. Talk to us about that offensively. You know, offensively, Cooper Argo makes us go. You know, him quarterback. Running, our quarterback running the RPO system for us, making good decisions. You know, when they're cheating a run, he throws the ball and makes a great decision. When they play the pass, he hands it off like he's supposed to. So he's the decision maker, makes the offense click and make it look good. Omar McHouston's had a huge year as a senior. You know, he wins one-on-one -on -one balls. Wide out. 50-50 balls, you know, he's done a great job there. Tyrus Real had a couple big games here lately, you know, against Mariana Lee. I think he had a 100-yard receiving game, a couple touchdowns. So guys are making plays, and of course, Tyler Moore, you know, we find a way to get him the ball over the field. And he's pretty consistent. Consistent, runs An hard. Back, if you will. Catches the ball well, blocks well. I mean, he's a, he's a complete offensive player. We had two sophomores that's got in on the action. D. Buchanan got back from injury, broken collarbone, and he had a touchdown against Mariana Lee and had some big games. And uh, Jacob Gaines had a huge game against Mariana Lee. You know, he had a three touchdown game against Mariana Lee. So those sophomores are stepping up and finding their spot in this offense and making plays for us. Jacob is Dennis' little brother. We'll talk to Dennis right. once again at halftime. But after the break, you stay right there and you stay right there. We'll talk about today's game, which is the biggest game of the year for the Warriors.